What's up bike people? Welcome to the channel again. As you saw in the title, I'm gonna do a quick review on this uh, 2022 uh, Ducati Pinagali V2. This is NR style Texas uh, Pinagali V2 here. Uh, so far, he has uh, just over a thousand miles on it, I believe. He has a strap from Elite Performance, a full windscreen, uh, and most recently he added the full titanium uh, system from Van Diemen. That thing as you can see is already turning blue and I think it's only been on a bike on the bike for a couple rides. It's a beautiful exhaust system, not cheap at all and well neither is the bike I guess so definitely uh, complements the bike amazingly. Let's do a quick start and I'll take you guys on the road with me. Uh, this bike is super, super light compared to, uh, let's say something like a Hayabusa, like what I have now. And uh, it reminds me a lot of the R6 that I used to have, or the R1 that I used to have, I guess in that sense. Uh, it's very, very light. I believe they come like 380s or something pounds from factory. Um, and I think it makes something around like 150 155 horsepowers from factory so yeah i think he's uh, got plans to do more stuff to this bike i know he has his own channel on youtube and he does have an instagram in our style texas uh, if you guys uh, follow my instagram or our youtube you guys can have probably seen this bike there before on a couple of rides and this is it here so I'll give you guys a cold start. Stick around for the ride. Insta 360. Yeah. Come on. She's gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> Look it up right here. She'll come out.
right people so one thing that you notice here is like once this bike is turned off just because the heat is up unlike some of the other bikes the fan cuts off and all that once you turn off the bike on this one as you can hear the fan actually stays on i guess cooling down the bike uh even after you cut the power off and all that it's just one of the ducati features i guess uh this bike is super duper nimble on the road um obviously you know they're known for making very very light and very uh maneuverable bikes and beautiful bikes i mean if we go into the art and the beauty and the detail on the bike that's a whole different world that's definitely uh you know i, I in my opinion uh ducati is definitely one of the top dogs on that um and uh she's torquey i feel she's torquey i think she's uh the v2 is 959 uh cc v twin or something like that you guys correct me if i'm wrong i can't remember off the top of my head right now but i think it's something like that uh the backfire coming out of this uh, exhaust right here it's just insane the sound uh riding it so i had ridden this bike before uh went on a good ride with it uh but it had the factory exhaust on it and it sounded pretty nice for a factory exhaust for sure uh, with this band demon on completely different experience if you guys have this bike and you're looking for a good exhaust to uh, put on your v2 or another similar ducati um, i know their one is definitely a strong strong contender uh, in all departments in my opinion uh, so yeah we're gonna drop off his bike here at alfa moto uh, if you guys are in the San Antonio, Texas area and you have a sport bike or any other type of bike, as you guys can see, they work on all kinds of bikes. And these guys uh, do a lot of track days, a Coda and out of state. They're very, very professional and they work on a lot of Ducatis. Uh, they have great work. They do a lot of custom work here, uh, riding house uh, from seats to uh, metal fabrication, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and just the routine maintenance and stuff like that for these bikes and any other bike as you guys can see here we have a, a CX-6R there an older R1 there and inside the shop I mean they have amazing bikes uh, I know there's a, a super Legera that they uh, keep here for most of the time and they work on and they ride it uh, a lot and it's a beautiful beautiful bike but uh till next time guys hope you enjoyed the little ride there and uh maybe learn something or not about this bike but at least you got to see it i'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn over the turn the bike over to them here and drop it off here and uh and our style texas will pick it up uh later after they do something they're gonna do to the bike and uh stick around follow him and uh he's got uh, a few things that he's gonna be doing to this bike so uh see you guys on the next one be safe